there, and Trent Mogwai here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for guys. Today, we are back at the client with Jin presenting us to play a little bit of Ilawi. Uh, hopefully, I said that right. In a very kinky deck called Eki, or Echi. <laughs> I can't even say that right. Yes, you will die of cringe from today's tentacle jokes, but I can't help myself. Let's take a look at my take on Ilawi. So, there's... If out of the out of the four champions, I mean Bard as well has been pretty flexible, right? But I, I would argue that Ilawi has been the least figured out. Uh, there's been so many different approaches towards Ilawi. We've seen people mix Ilawi with Bard because the tentacles actually promote the level up for Bard. I'm not a particular fan of that version because I, I believe going what is essentially mono Bilgewater is not really a good idea. And I think that deck is uh, very overrated right now. We've also seen other variants though. We've seen Targan, we've seen Demacia. Targeted because of, of the buffs within that region to, you know, preserve your and, and enhance your tentacles. Demacia because of the strike spells and stuff like Cataclysm. We've seen other combinations, even like Noxus, for example, even though that was less prevalent. But I would argue that what I personally believe to be, at least for now, the best version of Laoi is Shadow Isles. And the reason why is because all these other region combinations for Laoi focus a lot on essentially synergizing with and making use of the stats from the tentacles that you build up. The problem from this approach is that if the opponent is able to remove the tentacle, then you have to start over and all of a sudden you have a lot of cards that lose out on power and really depend on you being able to build up your Cthulhu arms right and because you're very dependent on that it, it's it's more inconsistent i uh actually built this deck with impetuous panda we both talked about it and i've been uh, optimizing it ever since because we uh we we talked about how you know the thresh uh combination with shadow owls is has a lot of potential because instead of focusing so much on the tentacles and and us energizing with them specifically we use them as a tool to design a bit of a controlly deck that is able to just keep going at the opponent can be aggressive when it needs to but can also hold back and use the tentacle more defensively as we essentially disrupt what our opponent is trying to do as we got access to stuff like Triple Vengeance as we go for atrocity in the late game onto our tentacle or Nagaboboros himself or itself. I don't really, I'm, I'm not gonna go ahead and guess the gender because I honestly have no idea. Like I, I studied biology, but I don't, my, my, you know, octopus knowledge doesn't really go that far. Regardless, atrocity is one of the main perks as well to play tentacles, okay, Eloy with Shadow Isles. And I really, really like this combination. We're playing Mirai Warden to help us survive a little bit of the early game onslaught. This two drop really helps us fight off against those early boards as we focus on building up the spawn synergy, right? So we have obviously a full set of Watchful Idol. When it comes to the spawn cards, really, when you approach this archetype, you kind of just want to add pretty much everything. In this case, we're not going with a full set of the Seas Voice because again, we're not focused, we're not so aggressive aggressive with the tentacles early on even though we can be because we're more of a control deck i don't feel like we need three copies of this instead we are running a one-off of undergrowth to give us a little bit of extra resources against very aggressive decks as we do know that Jin annie is very popular right and we want to be able to deal with that archetype really well i've tested it and we do have a pretty damn good matchup against it as we're able to match up their board and we resort to stuff like vile feast you know good old shadow owls card shadow owls is just one of the best regions out there it's always been I mean, at least for preference i just i love it i love that it just absolutely shits on burn it's just fantastic and i think it's really fitting for Lowey to go in a deck like this with this region and thresh works really well because when we get thresh and we level up thresh we can spawn Lowey from the deck and that's a very nice target it may not be as crazy as something like nasa's but it's still very much worth it. And because Alawi is a four drop, there's a lot of scenarios that we can have an Alawi on the board already. And if we have a leveled up Alawi, then just shit just gets nuts. Because when we see a leveled up Alawi, we see here that when you spawn, increase the value by one. So with double Alawi, we, we increase the value by three 
sorry, by two every time we spawn. So we spawn two extra, right? Every time we do so. And they spawn both <laughs> to ice. So it just we just get insane stats. And it's pretty much a win every time when we get to that point, right? So to react with our opponent, we have a bunch of drain spells. We have a Vile Feast. We have a one-off of Undergrowth, like I mentioned. We got a couple of copies of Withering Will, which can work really well towards Thresh level up as well. And it's very good against aggressive decks. Tr a full set of Vengeance for more... For decks that are not as focused on spreading out, but instead have like individual threats and just vengeance is, is pretty top tier ever since the buff so we are running a full set of that and then we have like most of the spawn cards buru lookout is just really good for value uh the great thing about i and nakakoporo is that not only does it give us draw but it also allows us to spawn something at burst speed which can defend us against open attacks we also got a couple of copies of glints beyond my going with a full set of this because we don't need that much draw as then, obviously, we will have the other components for the spawn uh, archetype. And I'd like to say that the most important card out of all the spawns, the strongest card in Illoy's package, is Tentacle Smash. This is the card. A lot of times, if you're facing a mirror, you may want to mulligan aggressively for this card. Because whoever is able to play this card first gets a huge advantage. Even though we have a pretty neat uh, matchup against other Illoy decks because we do have access to Vengeance. Which is what I really like about this region combination. I believe this is the best version of Laoi. It's very early to tell. But for now, this is what I would go for. And I love playing some Thresh. I never get tired of playing Thresh. And it's really neat uh, to combine it with this. And yeah, I don't know. I really, really like this. I've had a lot of fun. And I've had tremendous success with this deck. I did not play Ranked because I played as soon as the patch came out. And Ranked was not available then. Uh, I think it was available in the middle of my recording. But I didn't realize until the end. So I just, I played in uh, normal uh, where everybody was until you know they, they they led with that and i played against a lot of really like a lot of variety but also like good uh looking decks as well like it, it was uh it was quite the session i think i think uh, you guys are gonna enjoy it so hopefully you know uh yeah i'm gonna stop rambling because at this point i'm just going on a tangent you know I, I i like talking i guess but thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video i really uh i'm happy with my approach towards Alawi early on and i think you guys will enjoy this deck and the game so we got a lot of games today because i, I had a long recording session and you know it went pretty smoothly so yeah have a whole day love ya enjoy the games stay tuned for daily legends of runeterra content Kind of mixed up my outro there. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. And my first opponent in the real client, of course. Of course. I want to keep the Thresh, I believe. No, I think I'm only going as well. I think I, I need to work for... I mean... It's a snow. I think I'm going to keep Thresh here, because... I, I was worried about drawing into a, a bit heavy here. By keeping Thresh. But it's, it's a risk I had to go for, I think. We do have the Vile Feast, at least, and we have Tentacle. We got some healing in this deck. Not as much as in the uh, the actual counter to this. Alright, so... Vile Feast here. Alright. I'm gonna take the hit. We have a counter for Annie and Tentacle Smash. We're gonna wait here. In case they have Noxium for a war. They pass, that's fine. Stay in school, Annie. You'll make something of yourself yet. I already made something. Now I'm in a tentacle in this. We slow down Jin here, and we leave him at range so that our threats can finish him off. We could also go Ilaoi here, but I think it's better to just Thresh. Alright. Let's go make some friends, Tippers. You're quite 
Let a little fire start around you. It's Kythera, Annie. Hey, Timbers. It's, it's Kythera. Okay, so this gin is going to potentially stun here. This is going to be a big hit no matter what. So this is five, six, seven, eight damage dropping down to nine. That's a bit more than I'd like to drop down to. My best, best, my best bet is the vengeance here. We have to hope they don't have another gin in hand. Oh, we really weakened their attack this way. We're definitely gonna take this block. That that was clutch. We, we were a little bit wide open there. Even though we played several withering whales, we drew a little bit too heavy. But we're gonna start to see the payoff from playing our gin, our thresh here. And Annie is gonna go down. Alright, so. I kind of want to get rid of her. I'm, I'm worried about another stun effect happening here, but at the same time, if that's the case, no, Ella is always better. Because I, I get the tentacle smash, and I, I don't need to use Thresh to deal with that. I can just use tentacle smash. Get rid of Annie. A life lesson. A life lesson. Get out of here. To the water! My turn! Getting right over that range. Getting some sick damage in there. And really close to that level up, boy! And we're ready. We're ready for Tabalk. The fact that they had to play this. Alright, that makes sense. They're out of gas! I repeat, they're out of gas! And we're just getting started. Oh, that's a good draw. Okay, so Naga Gaporos can actually trade into this. So let's go. Nagagaboros! Obliterate! Whispered words, okay. Want to have some little bit of extra gas. That makes sense. Bam, bam. Block here. That'll work. Now we have fun. Gotta rebuild a little bit. It's gonna be a while for some of Nagagaboros here. Done it anyway, but we're gonna be able to spawn at the beginning of the round regardless. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going in. We're going in. We could have, we could have Withering Will immediately, but I don't really feel the need to. Because I'm gonna attack like this. Yes, you. Look at that stack, boy! <laughs> the power! Alright, for now we're doing good. And that's a clean victory, ladies and gentlemen. Clean as they get. Not bad for my first game back, baby. Look and see the glory of Nagakaboros. Long leg Nagakaboros! Demon Mick, or Mike, I'm gonna call him Demon Mick, is playing Overwhelm, I assume. We got the Mirai Warden here. The Vengeance is actually gonna come into play, I think. 
Uh, answered prayer is neat. Um, I'm gonna keep this entire hand, honestly. It's not the fastest, but it's not the slowest. We know we're gonna need vengeance this matchup. So we may as well keep it. I have my orders. We don't have an answer for this. Turn one, unfortunately. But we can get that health back and we can Mirai Warden to spread out. That's how we're playing Mirai Warden, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that vile feast as well. Hello, new best friend. That's pretty neat. A warrior needs a drum beat. Mm -hmm. We got good blocks here. And if they develop, we can Vile Feast. Fight or die. Hmm. Trade. We can play you. Spawn two. And Vile Feast you. I like this line. It sparkles. No one's the wiser. We got more than enough blocks, baby. My life or theirs. Do I want these one mana five five yetis? Not yet, honestly. I want to preserve this as a better blocker for overwhelms that are coming in. Okay, so that was a 13. We do clear their board and we do we still have vengeance, which is really important. Ah, a beautiful day for sailing. Where's my axe? To the sea! To battle! Do you hear to battle. Her voice? Do you feel her presence? I feel it. I definitely feel it. And now we have Thresh. Okay, ready. We're not gonna just block with this, honestly. I do want that Thresh, though. Stand and be tested. My axe is ready. I really want to vengeance this. I think I need to slow. I, I spawned three here. If we drag this, this guy. No, I think we just had to be patient. I think we just have to be patient. We have a we have a thresh like a, a box vengeance combination here. I'll do better this time. So we can vengeance here. And we can trade here. The only downside is like a mite. Do we fear a mite? Move or be moved. I think we gotta be careful here. We gotta respect. Yeah, alright. We lose it, Lowe, but it is what it is. It is what it be. I'm gonna pass because I want to keep this box open. I have my orders. All right, we're gonna vengeance that again. That's why we get vengeance. We knew we knew we we're gonna need it. We knew we we're gonna need it for sure. I keep having that vengeance open. With this fourth chief, we'll even refill a mana here. We could have had a box here, but... I'd rather just get this guy online as, as early as possible, because, you know, praise be Nakaparas! We're not gonna... If, if he doesn't force our vengeance, we won't resort to it. That's for sure.
We'll wait for them to commit something. That's why I wanted to play this, because this this guy be thick. And after the damage onto this Darius from the attack block, this worked out really well. We're able to just uh, slow him down. We stabilize here. That I'm really happy I kept that Vengeance in my hand. Like, I knew facing this kind of deck, I would need it. Now that they commit... Now that they commit... Oh, what's that? Something else? Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> Conceding coming in three, two, one. All right, oh, okay, he's a fighter. <laughs> he's a fighter. Not gonna be long though. Not gonna be long. <laughs> Alright, do we have a Thresh quote or we still don't? That's sad. Cardinality is playing Twisted Fate, Swain, Annie. Alright. We got the Watch Fuido, really good. Um, I am like a Kapuros can be nice, but I think I'm, I'm gonna keep one Tentacle. I mean, Tentacle Smash is so good. I'm gonna keep two. It really is that good. And we got the Wincon here. It really is that good of a card. This is, I mean, flock food, but at least we'll get a spawn out of it. All right, that's a bit spooky. Double, double this. Right. We get hit here, but at least now we get to smash. We can smash Annie. Do not take that out of context, please. I don't want to go to jail. You can't play card games in jail. All right, let's do this. We smash. Get her out of here. And build up our tentacle. Is that like an auction for a war or something? Ah, that's a death's hand. That's a death's hand. That's irrelevant. That's the beauty of this archetype, like, it's just like, it's all building up, so like, damage removal is actually not that great. And now, now we're the aggressor. Now we got the thickness. Yeah, I don't think you just mulligan pedicle smash ever in most cases. I can't believe, like, that, that went through. Okay, so they definitely have disintegrate. They're telegraphing the shit out of it. So we're just gonna smash again. We're not letting Annie level up. No Tibbers. No Tibbers for you. I wonder what his split is. Probably one TF and two Swains. I don't think it's worth it though, honestly. Because like the thing about, like the thing is you generally wanna go triple Swain because Swain saves your spell is amazing. It's ravenous flock, you know? Like you don't mind drawing multiple Swains. Yep. Tentacle Smash is a great answer to any. Holy shit, dude. Alright, we're a bit on the clock here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that, that kind of sucks. That's a good draw, though. The sea is fathomless. Good tempo to apply pressure here. I see no obstacles ahead. All right, down to eight. This is a good card too. The Buru Lookout. We can also play Thresh afterwards. We also have Vengeance, so we're we're all right here. What we're gonna play Thresh. Yeah, I have a feeling they they got shit. I could stack more on these, but right now I just I just got one hell of an open attack here. Like right now we got lethal. We got lethal, even though we got Ilawi, we're just going lethal. Because they need disintegrate. <laughs> 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 
And we rush him down. That was looking like a spooky late game. Triple to bulk, man, but we, we can aggro. All right. Annie Jinx. That's a cool champion combination. Uh, we're definitely, I mean, I don't want to mulligan away my champions, but this is like, this looks to be like a very aggressive variant, but I, I may regret this. I, I probably should mulligan a little bit more aggressively. But man, I just really want to keep my champions. Like, they're going to put in the work. Maybe I should. Like, the problem is the full mulligan can also be punished here. We have the technical smash for that, but it would be nice to find the Mirai Warden here. Mirai Warden always finds a way to pop. Oh! Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! I love you. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Pretty good. Pretty good. Right, down to 18. We're good. I think I just want to uh, tentacle smash here, though. Get rid of this Annie. And throw in a, a stronger attack. Because there are three drops. I'm not sure what they can have, but... I don't really mind about these two units, but if I, can, if I can throw in more damage... Life's good, you know? Technical Smash is a good card. I, I like that it counters Annie. I really do. I like that it... That it ca like, I, I like... <laughs> hey! Don't blame him. Deep! Deep, all right, this will be interesting. Uh, I want to keep the answered prayer. I'm going to away everything else. We do find Ilaoi, and Vengeance is also nice. We're on the clock here, naturally, and Deep got some neat tools, but they're mainly like anti aggro tools. So I don't think they necessarily benefit the deck too much against us specifically. Oh no, that, that, that stuff does not make me happy. Okay, that's a 2 1 that trades into my answered prayer here, and um, generally speaking, puts in the work. Let's spawn 2 for now. I'm gonna pass actually. Like, this this doesn't really accomplish anything right now. So I may as well carry over my spell mana and play more reactively, see what they do. Because I could just go for this. I spend one more mana, but I only spend one card. It's, that doesn't really matter too much in this matchup, I think, so... so small, but she ain't lacking courage. works out. I mean, it would have been nice to have a Vile Feast. We can easily counter that in this deck, but we didn't really draw it. Unfortunately. We move against fear, against doubt. We have Ilaoi. Corruption everywhere. Some nice damage on him. Progress our level up here. I also do want to play your boy Thresh. Don't seem to have much going on here. I mean, I'm going to play Thresh. Because if they do work for the Maokai level up, then, like, first of all, we're not. Nothing in our board is vulnerable to a sapling. Nice. We're gonna drag the uh, the Sea Scarab first, so that we limit their tossing. We get the level up as well. 
I would like to vengeance you two. While I'm at it. So that they can progress a level up here. You know, before we pass over initiative and they and they get to play a unit. Even if they get to toss an extra unit, it still works out for us. Another Yetison, that's good. Naga Kaboros moves within me! Now no, no, I get what she says. Alright, Naga Scarab here. At this point, I'm just gonna play you. Like, no reason not to play this. We're not bluffing anything at this point. And they may just pass here. Yeah, so we want to make sure that we get this in. So we can build up Nagapodas. Now that we have Ilaoi leveled up, we essentially have double power. Ooh. Beautiful. Okay, so. So. We're close to that, um, that, that lethal with the, uh, with the atrocity. But for now, we're gonna smash, and we're gonna smash this. Again, slowing down their tossing as much as we can, limiting their blocker here. Empowering. We know they don't have Yetisons because they've tossed them, right? With that information, we can go. This is not fear of a surprise hit there. Hardy Toad is out of here. Okay. Uh uh uh. Okay, now we get to hit this too. If they attack with this, then I will trade Ilawi because I will level up anyways. They do have one Yetison, but not enough. Not enough. And now. I say, just in time, baby. Let's do this. Double trouble. Kotolo, Kotolo, them are him. That's that. I, I think we kill him. I'm not. I'm not sure, but I, I think we kill him. <laughs> GG. Man. Smiles upon victory. Yeah, me too. All right. More burn. We got the vile feast. We can drop the glimpse. Um, I'll keep the answered prayer and the Elawi. Since we have the vile feast, it feels like um, you know. Not a greedy hand to keep it all. That's a great draw. Holy crap, that's a great draw. No one's the wiser. They'll never see the hunter. I want a vile feast here. Never mind, we're gonna do this. We draw into Thresh, which is really neat. For me, the spirit dies. Chump that. Going down to 12. Not great to go down that low, but at the same time, it's pretty good. Truth better. 
truth is no betting. They could have a disintegrate. But I can't really play around that. Oh, this integrate, no, this integrate, no, this integrate. Remember the objective. Okay. The few for the Thankfully, we have, uh, we have Withering Will, which will help us out a little bit. Okay, they go for draw. I mean, I'm gonna end this round. <laughs> they really tried to burst past me? Alright. Okay, so I think, I think Thresh, I think it's a bit late for Thresh right now. I think what we need to do is we need to smash. We need to tentacle smash Annie. Keep the, the healing and then win with atrocity. Set up that atrocity kill. I was worried about disintegrate, but I know they don't this this very the deck does not make the deck disintegrate. Yeah, we, we don't give a fuck, bro. We could not give more of a fuck, like seriously. The power! Get in here. You dirty, dirty bird player, you. you don't even need the atrocity, baby. Just beat him down! Upon yeah, yeah, she always smiles when we went that I, I get it. Alright, Bard Zed. Mm, I'm gonna melee away these two. Hello. I think I'll just keep these two just for early game. I'm not sure how important Mariah Wardens is. They have a lot of elusives, but we also wouldn't be able to chump the Zed, right? So I think this mulligan is correct. Whenever I face Bard, they always have the one drop, so this is like one of those few moments in which they actually don't have it. Because <laughs> they always have it. My friend and I are collectors. I mean this just halts them completely. Nothing like a 2-2 two -two to halt. Two one twos. I think now we just go with you. Nagakaburo surrounds us. Nagakaburo surrounds us. I'm gonna go with a C voice because if they play Zed, then they have to trade Zed into one of these two, and we will take that every day of the week. Yeah. Do not fear the shrouded path. Do you feel her presence? I do. I do. So. She thick. At least getting there. They may open attack here. Okay, that's great. That's I really appreciate you doing that, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ooh, okay, that's kind of nutty. <laughs> I'm really good at this game. You know, I'm just, I'm just like, it's just, you know, skill. Pure skill. Nowhere to hide. All right, we're gonna go with Thresh. No matter what, we want to start getting Thresh in there. We want to challenge this, the Zed. Do our very best to kill it. It is a threat. We get stunned, all right, that's to be expected. We can't really attack with the flight here because we want to use it as a chum blocker for that. We do want to attack with you and you. Do you hear her voice? Your attack is obvious. 
Times are tough. Two disciplines. Okay. Working for that thrice level up then. And if he opens attack, if he open attacks with this, I think I spawn this immediately. Yeah. Because the shadow dying will will help me level up Thresh upon an attack here. We could also just vengeance. They could bard here though. But this allows us to trade into that and gives us options. Let us meet dark skies with bright souls. Do not deny me. I am the current. Let's show hold this back. They very clearly have something. If not, then I, I want to make sure I, I keep this. The Eternals spent together. Because unless they have a Will of Ionia here, I mean, it doesn't matter. We leveled up anyways. They would have played it now. We get to open attack with this with this uh, Thresh because that's what we have to do. Because they have they have Cursed Palm, right? And we need to trigger this upon open, an open attack. We're gonna threaten this uh, this Zed. Get that Alawi, baby! Look at that! It's important to be conservative with your tentacle, you know? Like, they're gonna try to go for, for a value block, but we need to make sure that we have a big boy here. We don't, we don't care about that. That is actually, like, just beautiful. Um, we can go for the draw here. And try to just kill them. This is like really good for us though. But I see no reason not to do this. Life has so much to offer. Cause now it's just like, hey, this is lethal. What do you got for me? Nothing? You're dead. <laughs> this is it. Land or drown. Oh, they're, they're gonna drown. They're, they'll learn next time. Good job. Good job, Cthulhu! Nagakabora smiles upon victory! I mean, we won it. Like, I, I, we get it. We get it. You can say something else. All right. Let's establish some Malawi supremacy. I don't know why... Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure why this deck is a thing. With the buffs from Bard, you know? Because you're spawning the tentacles on the board, so I, I don't... I don't really understand the reasoning behind this. This this is a deck that a lot of people are playing that doesn't really make sense to me, especially because locking yourself into Bilgewater, I think is really bad. Like, I don't know why this deck is popular. Like, I know Kuvira was playing it, but I, I do not understand. Like, no offense, man, whatsoever, but I just do not get it at all. I mean, the Vengeance could be neat. The Vengeance could be important. I'm gonna keep the Vengeance. Even though we really, what we really want is the tentacle smash. Where do you stand on cold shots? Give us some room. Turn one pool shark is really sus. Look at me saying sus. No, no, I never said sus in my life. All right, I'm going to. I could go Marai Warden, but it trades into that, so I'm gonna try to do this. Get to work with the spawns. A little bit of damage on him as we work for that atrocity. Like getting yourself limited to to bilge water is just I really I really really do not understand this deck. Um Hello, new best friend. Stand 
and be tested. We're not vulnerable. Like, we don't lose Alawi to a tentacle smash here. We do lose her to that. Let me get them restart here. Is neat. Okay, I understand. I understand now because it buffs because it levels up Bard. I still don't think that's good at all. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna. Potentially just uh, focus on this. Yeah, this makes the most sense. I love flexibility in my plays. Growth demands effort. Should play this. We're gonna go with this. The sea's protection takes many forms. Next turn, seven, nine mana. There's not a lot to do this too, so we're still with all of this. Oh, I've never met anyone like you. I really want a withering whale here. That's what I'm talking about with like uh, the bilge water. Like, there, you're just very limited into what you can do. <laughs> and see, you buff that. It's like, okay, sure. I don't know. I, I just it, no, like, it, it, I don't mean to disrespect or anything. I just don't think it's a good, like, it's a good approach. Let's get thick. Get those stats back. This Ela Wee, bro, on the jaws of death and just coming back full form, baby. And what are you gonna do as Bilgewater? Like, what are you gonna do? You need the stun card. Otherwise, like, now, now I know you ain't got nothing. Because Bilgewater is a good region, but on its own, it's very limited. It needs support. Wait a minute. Not enough. GG. Bottom. 
Victor smiles upon Victor. So that's like four times in a row? Okay. Talia Ziggs. This one will be interesting. Not really, I'm not, I don't really have any much idea of how this matchup goes. I keep Tentacle Smash. Like, if I've learned something, is that you keep this card. Like, this card is just really, like, it's the best 10, it's the best spawn card, for sure. No matter what Ilawi deck you build, you add three of these. And it's so good, like, it's really cool that we got champions with amazing signature spells. Well, not really. Not really. Like, like Ilawi and Annie have amazing signature spells. Uh, Jin's signature spell is actually really bad. <laughs> Let's just spawn you. That's a good stat. Like, that's a great unit to pull, actually. Great stat line. We may see the endless devout here. But if I can have a chance. Get one damage on him. Alright. That's two mana, you know? Like, while technically that was an even trade, he lost a lot of momentum with that. Okay. Kind of feels bad after drawing this, though. There's the Endless Devout. What do we do here? I kind of just want to go for a Tentacle Smash, to be fair. Is that the best approach, though? I feel like maybe Mirai Warren is the best approach. We can go really wide. And preserve the Tentacle Smash for later. Like, this card can do a lot later. Oh, I've never met anyone like you. Let's take that. I'm gonna play Lookout here, I think. Ilawi is also pretty tempting. We move against fear, against doubt. Because we're spotting two with these two attacks. Naturally, they can stun us, but they can't stun our Ilawi with this. It's completely fine. I think I want to do this. Because I have another one here. Yeah, it's fine. I'm taking that away from them. That's a very dangerous card that we got out of them. That's pretty fine. I can keep this uh, Ilawi in the back. I mean, I can attack now, but I only get plus two power. Well, it does set up. It does, it does set this up. It does set this up for a um, a withering whale, so I think it's actually fine. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it's not. But I, I think this is all right. <laughs> All right. So now that didn't work out for us, but now we can. The problem is we could have a right negation here, or an hourglass. But we are gonna try to do this. Nice. Nice. Very nice. 
Perfect. Perfection. Okay, so this is... You block into that. I don't think this is worth it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. You want a big boom? Yeah, call this guy. For one mana. You ain't got shit. If it was two, then I would be scared, but one? <laughs> Glory to Nagakaboros!